affecting us for years. Wear sunscreen when you're exposed to the sun, but now a number of growing wellness influencers are convinced sunscreen is actually bad for you and they are not using it. So the potentially dangerous trend is circulating on social media during one of the hottest periods of the year. Some are endorsing the no sunscreen movement, posting claims that they believe SPF is filled with harmful chemicals. Joining us this morning to help sort it out, New York City dermatologist, Dr. Ariel Osted. Nice to have you back on Good Day. Thank you so much So for is me. this SPF filled with dangerous chemicals? So sunscreens are actually extremely important in terms of preventing skin cancer. Uh, an ideal sunscreen is something that should have what we call zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Those are mineral-based sunscreens. Those are extreme, extremely safe. They're organic molecules. There are some studies in chemical sunscreens that contain what we call oxybenzone or avibenzone, uh, and those are products that in rats have been shown to potentially be what we call endocrine disruptors, but can actually affect your hormonal system. Oh. Uh, but yet those studies have never panned down in humans. So for now, it's so important to use your sunscreen. Why, can I ask you, why haven't we done the study on humans? We all use sunscreen, and we don't really know what the good ones or the bad ones are. Yeah, so that's a great question. I think these are studies that actually the FDA is looking into creating. How long and is it going to take? I completely agree with you. I think it's an important study to look at to be able to see the long-term effects of sunscreens and these, especially these chemical sunscreens that are over the counter. But what would be considered a chemical sunscreen? So there are lots of brand name products uh, that they're you on can the market, see. Right? They're in on the, the market. They're in on the, the shelf in, in in your drugstore. Okay. So so, so that's that's the part of this that I think that a lot of influencers are saying don't use these because they have chemicals that can get in your bloodstream like the yes. uh, oxybenzone and, and AV benzone. Yes. How do we determine this? Is there a website we can go to? Is there some kind of guide that we can say this is what we shouldn't use, this is what we should? I think that's great. I think I would certainly invite the listeners to actually go to the American Academy of Dermatology uh, the website. There's also the Skin Cancer Foundation website. Uh, that will actually help elucidate a lot of these misinformation that's out there. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the best filters for protecting the sun are what we uh, call mineral-based sunscreens. Yeah. So ideally, look for zinc and titanium, mm -hmm. uh, and those are absolutely safe. There's no chemicals well, in there. What about this thing about, you know, wake up in the morning, get five to 20 minutes of sun, no sunscreen, getting that vitamin D, that is good for you. Yeah, so vitamin D is an important aspect of health. It helps with your bones, it helps with your immune system, it definitely helps with your brain health. So it's important to have vitamin D, and the only way to get it is basically through sunshine. Mm. However... You can't get it through the pill form, like the vitamin D pills? So you can, so supplementation is the alternative. Mm. The issue is that when you actually get 20 minutes of uninterrupted sun exposure in someone who is fair-skinned, blonde hair, blue-eyed, that is cumulative, and over a course of a lifetime, that adds to months and years of sun exposure. And we have to understand that sunshine is actually a form of UV radiation. Mm -hmm. So a burn is actually radiation, and long term, it can lead to cancer. So it's important to wear your sunscreen. It's important but to- But not everyone needs to do this, though. You're saying yeah. if it's like five minutes and you don't have fair to light skin, this would be technically good for so you. So I think five, 10 minutes is certainly safe. I think it's good to use our good judgment, uh, but I think I wouldn't listen to the social media issues that actually are telling you to just basically lay out in the sun for 20 minutes and 30 minutes. Yeah. The time of the day that you get that sunshine is actually important too. I certainly wouldn't do it in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. I would maybe do it before 11 a.m. I would do it maybe after 4 p.m. Gotcha. Okay, so asking for a friend once a week, mm -hmm. Sit in the sun for 20 minutes. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Once a week asking for a friend. 20 minutes, no sunscreen, and then get out of the sun. I think that's reasonable once a week. And certainly take your vitamin D supplementation, especially where we are in New York, the Northeast. The way the sun hits us, it does affect our vitamin D production. Mm -hmm. uh, your skin color affects your vitamin D production. How so much vitamin D do you need and like how much... Yeah, so talk the, about the supplements sure. a little bit. So the FDA recommendation is about 400 units a day. It's actually important to get a little bit more than that, about 1,000 units. So what I do is I take my 1,000 units, yeah. one pill a day. Okay. And, and, and that's actually important. Let me you ask look me. like you have a suntan. <laughs> my patients tell me, and I'm not actually. I'm, I'm really working under the lights in my room, in my office, so in my getting, surgery. You're getting tanned under the lights yes, in the I office. Am dead. I got to ask because I, I was in Sardinia, which is a blue zone, which means that the people there live to yeah. be the longest in the world. They are so tan. I have never seen more tan people in Sardinia, and they're just living life, living the longest out of all of us in the world. Like, what, what, they're putting on baby oil. So there are other. So 
So there are factors and you know certainly people in Sardinia that blue zone area those are people who have very little stress mm -hmm. those are individuals who are actually eating a Mediterranean diet so they're actually getting a lot of antioxidants they're active all day so there are factors that do influence your s skin cancer based on your lifestyle. So okay. I think that is an important issue. We got, you don't, our Sardinia. Yeah, we got a, lot, a lot more stress <laughs> and we're not eating the Mediterranean <laughs> diet. We're eating the Frito diet. Yeah. Um, Doc, where can people find you? Uh, I, my practice is in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Uh, my website is drarielostat.com. Nice to see you again. Thank you so much. You got to list some of those, uh, you know, the sunscreens that we should be using because you got to make this they easier for us. They probably can't say it on TV because then those people will come after us. <laughs> Thank you. you Thank that. you. Thank, Thank you. you. We Thank don't need you. any more lawsuits today. <laughs> no more stress in our lives. All right.